It's time to get charging some chaos, everybody! With settling the score. In which case, I assume it will end in a draw and no score will be settled, because that's anime for you sometimes. But again, chaos charge is ending soon, so, you know. Yeah, this is sadly coming to an end soon, but... Hey, we aren't there yet, and Jay said there's still seven more episodes. Well, six if you count this one. But, you know, that's still a while away, guys, and phew, you know how long episode 40 of Excalibur has been taking, so... I ain't... I ain't counting it out just yet. There, we got all the main characters out of the way, and they just... And they just bring up names of a bunch of jobbers. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? They had names? <laughs> the only one I can remember is Tacker, and of course myself, but that's something else entirely. You remember Tacker? Myself, duh. Uh, ha the hacker guy, because his hack attack episode is for some reason very popular. I guess it's because it came out when the uh, other co talkers were still. Really big and everything, but you know, the... <sighs> that's it, really, though. Done with it. Good riddance. Oh, yeah, yeah, and the Welcome other main guy, us. Dragon. I trust that you did your and the Guardian, but that's it. Defeated Dragon Archer. Surprisingly, that's Dragon Archer is finally gone, and his dual energy has been absorbed, just like you requested. Excellent. Dragon Archer is no longer in the pitch. I'll be taking those upgraded dimension well. dragons. About well. that. I personally would have loved to take care of Dragon myself, but the Lancers had to interfere. Oh, Reggie, uh, thanks for the Mechlord Emperors. I appreciate it. Hmm? Oh, don't mention it, Tobias. After all, I'm still a man of my word. As long as you help me defeat anyone who opposes the Chaos Knights, so Reggie was tied with the freaking Lancers. You will once again have your former championship title mm. that you so rightfully deserve. See, I'll just undo that event. Besides, you're very close to earning that reward, and you'll have it once Jason and AJ are out of the picture. Good to know. As long as you keep your word, I'll keep mine, and keep defeating anyone who opposes the Chaos Knights. And thanks to Dragon Archer's defeat, my power has increased even further. Ah, Soon so I can good. summon the Great Leviathan. Oh wait, wrong series. Now, if you'll excuse me, Tobias, I must go and be on my way. I have to check on our prisoner, Frederick 125. Oh, um, but before I go, I want to clarify some information. You did absorb Zark, right? Of yes, course! Reggie, I'm telling you the truth. I defeated Dragon Archer and absorbed all of his dual energy, and his deck was also absorbed in the process. Zark is no longer his, a threat. His fingers are crossed behind his back. Good. I don't want any trouble. I'll be back soon. You'd think Reggie would notice the increase in power, but then I guess. Find out about the truth. Then again, I guess since Dragon had such Zark's a power boost anyway, he probably wouldn't notice. Then again, I doubt. You know, that, then again, I don't really has it like a gas thing where it's like, I'm 90% full. It's more like, this feels big enough. I still can't believe Tobias is letting me keep this card. And Tobias would be like, why? Why did I do that? At least this card will be used by someone evil again, or someone dark. Same difference, kind of. No way am I using it, though. Sure, I have the four dimension dragons, but it's not worth it. Yuya won his duels simply by using the dimension dragons and not using Zark, and the same can be said for me. Plus, he didn't use B. Plus, you had B. Os, but chose not to use it, so why not the same case for Zark? What to do with this card? Store it away? But do something. Have it hang out with B. L. S. I need some guidance or something. <laughs> the Guardian comes back. I think oh, I can help with that. <clears throat> Wait, what, what's going on? I like the looks of this. Oh boy. And then Jay's exploded. The end. Where am I? It's called a forest, Jace. 
Wait. This is where I met the Duel Guardian for the first time. And where I got the Dimension Dragons. And the Duel Puzzle. And why have I been brought back here? Because you wanted guidance and now you will be given that guidance. You know how to die! Duel Guardian? Wait, what are you doing here? I thought you passed on to the afterlife. I am nothing more than a spirit. However, I needed a human body in order to do my work. And after everything that's happened between you and me, I left that said human body behind. However, I knew I couldn't move on to the afterlife just yet. Not until I completed the task at hand. And so you were what just possessing someone else's body and left that person First, to die. Fan took him fast. It's in your pocket. Uh, no it isn't. Okay. So, what do I do now? Now give me. please hand the Supreme King card over to me. Wait, give it to you? I don't think that should be a good idea. Why can't I just hold on to it? Jace, I you know want off you your hands. You Zark in a duel. However, that might change over time. Think about it. You can never make you up your mind. By Zark's evil. You may change. And you might become what he was. I'm just. But I'm not a you boy. Please, hand Zark over to me. Uh, uh, all right, here. Whew. That's finally taken care of. No, Jukong. <laughs> that was out of nowhere. Now, as you're saying, now to conquer the world. Just for this one time, and then once you and I are done. I must leave and never come back to this world again. You have said that like I three times to at this you point. The guidance that you seek. Because if I remember <coughs> correctly, you said that you were looking for guidance. That yeah, yeah, I was looking for guidance, but I didn't know where to turn for it. Well, I can help you with that, but only if you are willing to trust me. Do I trust you? Nope. After all that's happened between us. I can't really say for sure, but I might not have much of a choice, especially if Reggie's going to make his final move. So, I'm sure I'm afraid I'll trust you, this. but I still have hesitation. I'm glad to hear it, Jace. This is the least I can now do <laughs> after all that happened between us last time. Now, we must be going. My time in this human body is limited. I thought you were a spirit. <clears throat> now where am I? Where the heck am I? This Jace is where you'll be able to find what you seek. Why have you brought me here, Duel Guardian? <laughs> I'm gonna ever see a Christmas Carol? Look over there. Is this some- is this a joke or something? Or are you messing with me? All that's over there is just a dirt baseball field. It might be just some abandoned dirt baseball field, but it holds more secrets than you realize. Go ahead and walk over there. You'll soon find out what I mean. You see the corpses of three clones have some scrub? I don't see anything around here. This is obviously a... What on earth? Duel cards? What are they doing lying on the... No way! These cards are... What's the meaning of this? You said you wanted guidance, Jace, so I'm helping you out. This is... This can't be possible! You see, James Sullivan battled those cards once. I don't exactly remember when. But it occurred a long time ago. I was ago. being sarcastic. No way! I will never use these cards! I'm simply just trying to help you and give you the guidance that you seek. Well... Okay, then can I at least have some time to think about it? No! Bye! I'm afraid we don't have any time left. We must be going. However, we're not leaving without those cards. No way, I'm not using the- <sighs> I know I've never gotten to this point yet, but I'm just going to give- room. If you need to explain how I got to the Chaos Chain of the Universe. Um, 
as we leave it, it might as well give some explanation. So season two is gonna, if I ever get to it, is gonna start off with freaking Asker sending the sacred beasts and shit into a portal to, you know, the chaos charge dimension. Because well, these failed. That was a waste of fucking time. I know what I have to do. I don't care what dimension that London is. They can have that. You those useless pieces of crap. I could explain that away as soon as I get to season 2, but I can't even get to episode 4, so, you know. It's my own fault for procrastination. Ugh, I suck. I have to do this. I can't run anymore. Not to mention, I have many friends counting on me. Including those that lost to him. Tobias! If you can hear me, I want you to reveal yourself! Heard you loud and clear, Chase. Now what do you want? You better make this quick. I got a new theme song in every day. Nice to mess around with someone who's a part of the Chaos Knights. I've been doing that this entire series, you dumb fudge. You and I are gonna settle our score, right? It's here, in the title. Right now. You really think you're ready to challenge me to a rematch? It's only been a couple of days since I defeated Dragon in a duel. Do you actually think you're in any position to try and challenge me? Bitch, you gave me the power! Now, I suggest that you just leave, because I'm not interested in dueling you. Bye. Oh, come on. Teleports out. Well, that was a waste of fucking time. Stick around for a while. Come on, you might actually have the chance to defeat me. Or maybe I'll just end up kicking your rear end like I did back in the championship tournament. Ugh. How dare you! You sneaky little rat! I'm just simply stating a fact here. You should start treating me with some respect! I single-handedly defeated Dragon and Austin Silver! Or did you already forget that? Not to mention, I am Reggie's best Chaos Knight! So, I would suggest not to mess with me! Chaos Knights don't have you know high standards. If you're so insistent on being drained of your dual energy... I am Dragon's fine. best Chaos Knight. How many Chaos Knights challenge. does he have left and at this point? And it will be nice to earn myself a second win in a row. The number, the over hundred numbers, and Enough you. Enough stalling, let's get brawling. Well, it's your funeral. Best part is Alright, Tobias, if you don't mind, I'll start off this duel. So I'll draw my opening hand. What the? What, what is up with this? Stop talking to yourself and make your move, Chase. I don't have all day. I've got a duel to win. I guess we're gonna play it the way it's going to be. All right, from my hand, I'm using two scale five wisdom eye magician in order to set the pendulum scale. Why? Then I'm going to activate wisdom eye magician's pendulum ability. When I have a magician card in my other pendulum zone, I can destroy it and send it to my extra deck oh. in order to replace it with a different pendulum magician. So All if right, you don't mind, Tobias, me. I'll be substituting my two wisdom magicians and sending them off to the extra deck. And in their place will be the scale 1 stargazer magician and the, and the scale 8 time gazer magician. Okay, makes sense. And then I'll set them. Now I'm going to special them, summon so. as many monsters that I want from levels 2 through 7 at the same time. So now I'm going to Pendulum Summon. Come on back from my extra deck with my Magician! We're back! However, I'm not taking any chances. Or, so I'm, I'm back because mode. extra monsters own rules. And then from my hand, I activate a spell card, Supply Squad. Hmm. With it, once per turn, if any one of my monsters is destroyed by battle or by card effect, I get to draw one card. And then I'll end my turn by placing one card face down. You're up, Tobias. That's it? How sad. Let me show you how it's supposed to be played. Please right, enlighten first me. Off, since there are no monsters on my side of the field, I can automatically special summon this to the field. Evil Hero Infernal Prodigy. Oh boy. And then I'll Jesus sacrifice man. Infernal Prodigy, which allows me to normal summon this. Evil Hero Sinister Necro. Oh boy, it's one of the new supports. It's nice to use a new evil hero. 
because now I can use him to my full advantage in order to win this duel. I don't know what he does. I activate Sinister Necrom's effect. By tributing this card and sending him to my graveyard, I can special summon an evil hero from my hand or deck to the field. So I think I'll summon from the deck Evil Hero Malicious Edge. And next, I'm activating the field spell known as Supreme King Castle. Oh boy. The castle used by the Supreme King himself will now rise. Not the Zark behind one. Me. And thanks to its effect, I can fusion summon without the need for dark fusion. Oh boy. And that's gonna come in quite handy. Especially when I fuse Elemental Heroes Avion and Wildheart in my hand. Oh god, you're going through the summon mediocre Evil Hero one Wild Cyclone. at best. The only good thing about this is that it destroys all spells and crabs and not one at a time edge. like the Elemental Hero Slice counterparts. Up wisdom, I'm a magician. And thanks to my Militia Edge's special ability, you take piercing damage. And just to keep things interesting, I'm using Supreme King Castle's additional effect. By sending an evil hero from my deck or extra deck to the graveyard, I can increase the attack points of Malicious Edge by the level of the set monster times 200 until the end phase. Oh boy. So I'll be saying goodbye to evil hero Lightning Golem. Since he's a level 6, my evil hero Malicious Edge gets 1200 attack points. Well, since Wigman has a pendulum monster, he'll go back to my extra deck instead of the graveyard. Furthermore, since you destroyed him, Supply Squad goes up, so I get to draw one card. Yep, this is definitely but a training card. My Wild Cyclone can still attack. Wild Cyclone, attack him directly. Dark Vicious wins. And thanks to Wild Cyclone's ability, you're not allowed to activate spell or trap cards till the end of the damage step whenever it attacks. Castle ah. once per turn. Furthermore, since Wild Cyclone inflicted battle damage upon you, all your face down spell and trap cards are destroyed. So say goodbye to that face down card. Well, thankfully, it's only face down spell and trap cards. Yeah, you and because scales. of Wild Cyclone's ability, I get to now activate the effect of my destroyed Mirror Force Launcher. Oh, dang it! With Mirror Force Launcher, I can put it back face down on my field if it's ever destroyed by a card effect. Then I can take a Mirror Force from my hand, deck, or graveyard. Face down Have fun with this one, Tobias. So a one of your precious Chaos Knights fell victim to the strategy. The turn they were set by its effect, but since you already attacked with all of your evil heroes, it doesn't really matter. Well, don't expect to rely on Mirror Force too much in this duel, Chase. After all, I've already taken out more than half of your life points. This duel's gonna be an easy breeze. During my main phase two, I'll set one card face down. And then I'll end my turn. Then during the end phase, Infernal Priority's effect activates from the graveyard. Him draw. Since it was used to tribute summon a hero monster, I get to draw one card. In the stats, I can't believe I drew a card like this. No matter, I'll just go without it. My move. All right, first I'll use my set pendulum skill to once again pendulum summon. Rise again from my extra deck. Whiz my magician. I did so well last time. And from my hand, a Lechmanetic Turtle. Xyz. And now I overlay level 4 Wisdom Eye and a Lechmanetic Turtle to construct the overlay network in Xyz Summon. Come on out, rank 4, Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon. How you doing? Next, I activate Dark Rebellion Special Ability. Oh, how I want to go to the baseball diamond where the freaking cards the from my gauntlet was. And who comes edge. out? Dark Rebellion. Lost attack points to Dark Rebellion permanently, making Dark Rebellion the strongest monster on the field. I assume the castle can still trigger. Dark Rebellion, I don't know. I can't read Japanese. I activate Supreme King Castle's effect. Yeah. I send Evil Hero Infernal Sniper from my extra deck to the graveyard. This time, Wild Cyclone will gain 1,200 attack points. Ugh. Ugh. Which means the I edge, take honestly. less damage. So far, so good. He's plotting something. I end my turn. It's my turn now, and I draw. And I'll start by activating Legacy of a Hero. Oh boy. 
First, I return two fusion monsters in my graveyard to my extra deck that list hero monsters as fusion materials. Then I draw three cards. I return Evil Hero Infernal Sniper and Evil Hero Lightning Golem. And then I'll draw my three cards, complements of my spell card. That castle makes it look Then I'll use the strong. effect of my Supreme King Castle. So with it, I fuse Evil Hero Malicious Edge on my field with the Despair Uranus in my hand. Uranus? Fusion summon a new Evil Hero Fusion Monster, Evil Hero Malicious Bane. Well, that's just ass. Never seen Eesh. that evil hero monster before. You only so say now. I'm gonna like it. Now go, malicious thing! Attack Dark Rebellion Exceeds Dragon! I won't let you use Supreme King Castle's effect. I activate my trap, Mirror Force! Let me guess, Bane has say an effect. Goodbye to malicious Bane. It won't work, Jace. Malicious Bane can't be destroyed by card effects. Of course it can't. I'm not even more, surprised since my anymore. Supreme King Castle's still on my field. I get to use its effect again. This time I'll send Evil Hero Inferno Wing from my extra deck to the graveyard. He needs a 6 and 1200. Now, he loves his level 6s. Finish off Dark Rebellion. Oh, great. Yeah. Ugh. Dark Rebellion may have been destroyed, but Supply Squad's still in effect. So, I draw one card. That's all for now. I end my turn. If Bane can't be destroyed by card effects, then he doesn't destroy it by battle. But no, that wouldn't work either. Only Tobias, he's probably hiding information that I don't even know about. He probably. Just Bane card. Tobias and the Zephyr and Lance. Press on. Not a card I wanted to see. I don't even know why it's in my deck. Honestly, I'm willing to believe anything at this point. The dual card, he'd be like, All right, I'll LOL, I'm on Team Tobias. <laughs> Then I'm going to Pendulum Summon. So come on out from the extra Wisdom Eye. Once again, Wisdom Eye Magician. This guy gets about as much screen time here as Bentley Marker Shadow has in my series. I don't even intend that to happen. I end my turn, Tobias. Your move. He still hasn't played the two cards in his hand? It's not like Chase. Normally he would have played those cards by now. Okay. This is starting to really bug me. I think he's just holding back. All right, Chase. First, I activate the effect of Evil Hero Malicious Bane. Once per turn, I can destroy all monsters you control whose attack points are less than Bane's. So say goodbye to Wisdom my Magician. <sighs> Not again. Well, the thing has a death goes fetish. Back to the extra into the pendulum monster. monster, we know. And Supply Squad goes off again, so I get to draw another card. Thing has a Bane also pendulums. gets 200 attack points for every monster destroyed this way. Of course it does. And next, I'm going to normal summon Evil Hero Infernal Gainer. I've heard this. I think I've made this trick before, but I think we're going to get to the point where the card yeah, text is so bang. long, there'll be a Attack second card to go directly. alongside it. Not yet. Like those For special Pokemon graveyard, cards that come I with two cards. Turtle. Two different to effect, pieces, you know? You're like, I summon Supreme King, I summon case, Malicious Bane, and then I summon the I other half of Bane so we can finish card. reading this Destruct fucking card. Potion. Oh boy. By destroying one monster on my field. I gain life points equal to its attack points. I destroy Infernal Gainer, so now I gain 1,600 life points. Yeah, that we had already, we had and already used will I take advantage of these newly gained life points, but I'll also take advantage of Infernal Gainer's destruction, because it's a monster on my field was destroyed by a Oh, great, right, here comes Grinnell. I can special summon this card from my hand. Come on out, Mech Lord Emperor Weissel. Or Weissel, he works too. Well, again, you'd say Mech Lord Emperor is just when you... The only one we saw was Grinnell, so I automatically assumed, here comes Grinnell. Joke's on you, Tobias! I only have two Synchros in my entire deck, which means Jace is gonna summon it, most likely, given anime protagonist logic. What's that? It's the only counter to me? Better use it. You're finished, Jace. I end my turn. During the end phase of your turn, I'm activating my trap card. Needlebug Nest. Oh, boy. Doesn't seem like much of a trap card to really use, but with its effect, I send the top five cards in my deck to Trust me, a painful choice because it nowadays is the closest we ever get. Good. All right, let's see. Imperial Custom. Uh, that would have been useful, but I'm not sure why it's in my deck. Call of the Haunted. I can understand that card. And some Sky Blaster. Okay. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Dance. And 
second copy of Supply Squad. Wow, that was completely and utterly useless. This won't work. From my hand, I activate the spell Raigeki. Well, at least that'll work. Finally, a card at least Finally, does something. Lord Emperor Weissel. Sorry, Chase, it won't work. I ah, that's right, Weissel, Weissel negates a spell. Watch turn if you activate a spell card. I can negate the activation of that spell card and destroy it. No, I, I spoke too soon. This can't be. <sighs> I can't win. Even if I resummon wisdom, I it won't do me any good. No, there has to be something I can do. Think outside the box. No. What? The... Okay, Chase. This isn't like you at all. Here, I was expecting more of a challenge from you. But clearly all you're doing is holding back. I'm not holding back, Tobias. I'm giving it my all. Naive kid. Stand up. Give me a real challenge. I'm not seeing it in you. You're not reaching the potential like I originally thought. Here I thought for sure you'd be going after Zark. And I thought for sure you'd be summoning him by now. But clearly you're not doing that at all. This duel is an absolute joke. I'm willing to bet that those two cards in your hand could have given you a pretty big lead in this duel if you had played them earlier. But you decided not to, and now you're going to pay for that. I can't use it, though. Enough. You are not the same duelist that I have known for so long. You're holding back, and it's not like you. Here I was expecting more of a challenge from you. But all you're doing is holding back and just giving me a joke of a duel. Now I'm going to ask you one more time. Get up. If you don't get up in the next minute, I'm going to count it as a surrender, and I'm going to be on my way. And I won't be taking you so do seriously energy? anymore. Dang it. I mean, I have any choice. You can't do it as in you choose not to, or you can't do it as in summoning conditions. Now go on and continue with your turn. I'm getting impatient. We noticed. I don't want to do this, but I guess I don't have any choice. Using the set pendulum scale of my scale 1 stargazer magician and scale 8 time gazer magician, I'll pendulum summon once again. So I call upon a creature who rides its power from dark shadows. A creature who enables dark summonings. Oh boy. I special summon... I pendulum summon the dark summoning beast! What? Okay, I should've just dark kept my beast. mouth quiet. Yep! And now I activate the dark summoning beast. And there's effect. continuous trap cards in Send the graveyard, my dude. In return, I special summon one sacred beast from my hand or deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. But I can't conduct my battle phase this turn. I still can't believe I'm actually gonna do this and say this, but I right. special summon from the deck Hamad, Lord of Striking Thunder! Mm, I guess there's not enough continuous traps in the graveyard. Be yeah, well, at least Hamad, you're getting a 4k beat stick that burns. You know, typically to be more accurate with, uh. To be more accurate with. Uh, the darkness guy's effect on blanking on the name, even though we just saw it. However, I've always wanted to take its effect is more to be accurate as you just can't and attack. It's not you don't get a battle phase. That was field. my misinterpretation. I might as well play this card too. I played the field spell Fallen Paradise. Oh boy! With this in play, Activate. the sacred beast can't be targeted or destroyed by your card effects anymore. And since I control a sacred beast, I can use Fallen Paradise's effect to draw two more cards. I'll, I'll place one card. I imagine this feels very dirty turn. for today's, but it's Hello, that or Hamon. die, hey, so. Hamon. Malicious Bane, attack Haman. Not yet. Trap card open. Dimension Yo. Guardian. I target one monster on my field in attack mode. And then that monster can't be destroyed I by battle or card effects. I think he has to so I offer mode. up Dimension Guardian's Just powers so have that to Haman. So he still gets to stick around Guardian. for a while. In that case, I'm activating Supreme King Council's effect again. 
I send evil hero infernal sniper from my extra deck to the grave. He's yard. clearly plotting something. Uh, but he wouldn't send that thing to the graveyard pointlessly. Oh, I guess well, then my turn by placing kind of one card face down. Now oh, come on, Chase. Bring it on. Show me what you're made of. All right. Let turn. me show you All right, what up, I'm made of now. Again, from my deck. Wow. I'm actually getting what I need. And all I had to do was embrace darkness. Thanks, Dark Summoning Beast. Yes. All right. Since I still have Stargazer and Time Gazer up in my Pendulum Zone, sorry, Sacred Beast starting a fan of clones. They prefer the real deal. Pendulum Summon from my hand for former pal Odd Eye Synchron. Then I activate for former pal Odd Eye Synchron's special ability. I special summon one monster from my Pendulum Zone to the field. And Chase is a big. He has a habit of making friends with monsters that shouldn't be made friends you. with. Like he made it easily with the Dimension Dragon, and, and I was making it easily with Sacred I Beasts. Team level five, Stargazer Magician. I Synchro summon the level seven Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. I knew it. Fortunately, and Weisel's still around. But I have to go even further if I want to try and defeat Bane. So, I'm going to normal summon Tuning Magician to my field. A level one tuner monster, which means. Now, due to tuning magician's special ability, you gain 400 life points, Tobias. Well, I take 400 points of damage. Great effect making. I mean, why'd you have to eat that part of the effect? Well worth it, because now I'm going to have level one tuning magician. Like, okay, two level guys, seven, I can understand you wanting to compliment dragon. the anime, but why'd you have to keep when everything the same? Synchro, clearing will gain new power. And it will evolve into a new dragon of different colored eyes. Oh boy. I synchro summon level 8 Odd Eyes Wing Dragon! Oh boy! Odd Eyes Wing Dragon has two very handy special abilities when it's in the monster zone. Can't read one of which it's I'll not use over right here in the now. TCG. With it, once per turn, I can target one monster on your side of the field and negate its effects until the end phase. And I'll be targeting Evil Hero Malicious Bane. Clearly. Then, I'm going to activate the spell card, Parallel Twister. Okay. So by sending one of my spell or trap cards to the graveyard, I can destroy one card on the field. I'll say goodbye to my Mirror Force Launcher. Since it's not doing anything. And you can say goodbye to Evil Hero Malicious and Bane. And another continuous trap in the Bane. grave. No! Alright, Haman, attack Mechlord Emperor Weissel with Cerulean Skyfire! Surprisingly, switch switched that thing to defensive mode. But hey, your funeral, not mine. <laughs> Am I the one who always thought Hyper Beam whenever they saw that? Oh. I felt that. The sacred Beast power is. Sacred? Well, they aren't called the, eh, they'll do, beasts. So since you destroyed a monster in battle, you get shot for an additional 1,000 points of damage. So if they ever get more support, I want that to be their names. The, eh, they'll do, beasts. And then Odd Eyes Wing Dragon will attack you directly. Go! Odd Eyes Synchro Diving Strike! Try saying that three times fast. Oh. Then I'll end my turn by placing one card face down. Glad to see you're actually giving me a challenge, Chase. However, it's too little too You late. wanted this. You did this to First yourself. From my hand, I activate the effect of evil hero with dust or gold. By sending it from my hand to the graveyard, Captain gold I get a card gold. from my deck to my hand that lists Dark Fusion. Dark Calling. I'll be adding Dark Calling from my deck to my hand. What else do you search? But it won't stay in my hand the for long because I'm going dark to fusion. activate it. Let's see what your malicious Using plan dark is. Calling's effect. I can fusion summon a fiend type fusion monster that would be normally summoned by dark fusion. And all I have to do is banish the required materials in my graveyard. So I banish evil hero malicious Bane and the despair Uranus. Now come on out and descend, evil hero Dark Gaia! I believe Dark Gaia's attack was points used become by the same as the combined attack in with two manga. fusion materials. Don't the despair quote Uranus me on that at 2900. One, and Malicious Bane had 3,000. That puts thinking. Dark Gaia at 5,900 attack points. Now, Dark Gaia, attack Odd Eyes Wing Dragon and end this duel with Hades Meteors! I won't allow it. 
That's why I'm activating my trap card, Spiritual Swords of Revealing Light. Oh boy! Due to this trap card's effect, once per turn when you declare an attack, I can give up 1,000 life points. Because we clearly have so many then, to spare. I can negate one of your again, monsters people attacks, have and said and life points don't matter. I'll be the attack of your Dark Gaia. In that case, I play my trap card, a second copy of Destruct Potion. Oh boy. I destroy evil hero Dark Gaia, and so then willingly. I gain life points equal to its attack points. So I get a 5900 life point boost. That's nice. And since a monster on my field was destroyed by oh. the card, <sighs> I keep special skills bring out Skeel Emperor from my hand. This time I call upon Mechlord Emperor Grinnell. Okay, no more padding with the Mechlords. Then again, Skeel is easily the worst, so I don't blame you. At least Weissels can negate and Grinnell's a beat stick. Skeel is like, oh, I can, like, oh, lose no. my only main Grinnell. source of power to attack Same directly with, like, my base Dragon. power. Oh, Grinnell's attack and defense points become equal to that of half of my life points. 4850. Attack Haman with final bombardment! Uh, dude, I have a, something to hooked on to it. I mean, this will hurt, but. Or are you just trying to get me to get my swords? Guardian, he still can't be destroyed. <sighs> well, now we can't use spiritual swords Why anymore, but we still took like, damage by. Because Harrison. then I wouldn't be able to use Grinnell's best special ability. And personally, I've been wanting to do this ever since I first got my hands on him and the other two Netboard Emperors. What would that be? I activate Grinnell's ability. I target Odd Eyes Winged Dragon and equip it to Grinnell as an equip card. Okay. Go Synchro Absorption! Oh, I forgot about that ability. Okay, I knew about then that one Grinnell already. Grinnell gains attack points equal to the Synchro and Let me guess, it can sword. attack again. So now it's even stronger than it was before. And then to end my turn, I'm gonna place one card face down. So Why did you wait? We can only do when destroy an more. attacks. I don't know. But this card just might Whatever. Now uh, uh, I guess I'll look I at then the again. Card, Phantasmal Martyrs. This way it kind of in a sense stopped the spiritual stone. And Hello. It, since I have in a sense field, he stopped the spiritual the source from activating Eve. If he had taken the Odd Eyes Wing Dragon first well, and then actually, it said, I just would have just used hand. spiritual but swords. All I have in my hand is two cards. So I discard Perform Pal Odd Eyes Synchron and Perform Pal Odd Eyes Dissolver. Still would have taken However, more damage in the long for discarding oh. my entire hand, I can special summon three I mean, I just just remember for now. It's not like I can just see them very often. Yo, what's up? How you doing? And then from my graveyard, I activate the effect of Dark Summoning Beast. So all I have to do is banish this card. Then I search my deck <laughs> and a Sacred Beast from my deck to my hand. I'll add Raviel, Lord of Phantasms, from my deck to my hand. Next up, Fallen Paradise. I draw two cards once again. I think when it costs some Mars, you can't special summon with any use of effect. And now, I'm, I'm going to sacrifice the three Phantasm Misremembering. Martyrs on my side of the field. So I call upon from my hand I played the, the second thing, I don't sacred remember beast. Ravi, Lord of Phantasms. Phantasms in Mars. I didn't actually use it. We're going to summon Uriah before the end of this, aren't we? Or is he at least going to get or is he just going to get a cameo like V and W did in my series? So another sacred beast. Not that it matters. How about the sacred beast of like bro dudes? Yep, but I'm still not done. I now normal summon Shangshen Magician. Then I'm going to activate Raviel's special ability. If I Tripping sacrifice Shen. one monster on my field, Raviel will gain that monster's attack. Let's see if Raviel can do better this time than this last. Turn. Then again, all the sacred beasts need to do better than last. It's gonna come at a price, but I'm willing to risk it in order to get rid of Grinnell. I sacrifice Haman, Lord of Striking Thunder. Since Haman left the field, Dimension Guardian is also sent to my graveyard. However, it's well worth it. Haman's sacrifice won't be in vain. Because, since Haman has 4,000 attack points, Raviel gains 4,000 attack points. Jeez. Then I'll activate shang Magician's special ability. I target one monster on my field, and then shang Magician's attack points become the same as that monster. Oh god. I target my Raviel. 
From 500 to 8k, just like that. Each one with 8,000 attack points temporarily for this turn. Now, Shangshen Magician attack Metlord Emperor Grinnell. Although Shangshen Magician can't do battle damage, oh. I still have one more monster left to attack with. Raviel, like, are you still alive? Directly. Shimmering Scraper. This is going to hurt. It's crazy to think Uriah and Haman are in dual links and even have slumming animations, but Raviel, I don't think so this yet. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> I was right. Before it did hurt. Turn, Why did I have to be right? 4k, 500. Alright, my move. I activate Pot of Greed. A classic. And with it, I draw two more cards from my deck. And then, I'll activate another spell card. Evil Mind. <laughs> it's only a sample, line, though. I get to apply a certain effect. You think it was that? I don't have the card. That at all, effect so, yeah. depends on the amount of monsters in your graveyard. Oh god. And I'll be choosing its plus four effect, which allows me to add a card that lists Dark Fusion from my deck to my hand. So I'll take another Dark Calling, and then I'll activate it. What a twist! And with it, I banish Evil Hero, Wild Cyclone, and Malicious Edge from my graveyard to Fusion Summon. Evil hero malicious fiend. Whoa. And next I'll play Pot of Desires. First I banish the top ten cards of my deck face down. Then I draw two more cards. And then I'll place one of those cards in my hand face down and end my turn. Because I'm not risking an attack with your face down card. Scared. But the time will come when I will attack. All right, my turn. It might be another mirror force. You do run three of those fuckers. Paradise. I draw two cards once again. I'll chain my trap card, Unending Nightmare. This card's effect will come in handy later. All right. Oh, great. And now, I've seen this thing played in Rome Mages. For four pal, you go Golem. I'm not letting the Lord of Phantasms power up again. I activate Torrential Tribute. Oh, boy. Because a monster was summoned, all monsters in the field are washed away, including Raviel. What? Didn't you forget about Fallen Paradise? <coughs> Since the beast can't be destroyed or targeted by your card effects. That means Torrential Tribute won't destroy Raviel. Wrong chain chase. Unending Nightmares unending effect. Nightmares effect. Once per chain, I can pay 1,000 life points, and then I can destroy one face of spell or trap card on the field. And I choose Fallen Paradise. Uh, well, since Shunction and Yugo Golem are pendulum monsters, they'll go back to the extra deck. However, Raviel isn't so lucky, so he goes to the graveyard. Mm. And although I did lose Malicious Fiend, <laughs> I'm glad he was destroyed. Because now, Here comes I'm the allowed third to special one. summon the final Mech Lord Emperor in my hand. Mech Lord Emperor Steel! In attack mode, because why not? Don't forget, Supply Squad's still in effect, so I draw one card. I place one card in my hand face down, and end my turn. End of the line, Chase. Goodbye! Hello! Now Lord Emperor Skeel, attack him directly and end this duel! You didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? No, I won't let it end here. I activate... Call of the Haunted! And Another with it, one. I bring back one monster from the graveyard and summon in an attack mode. And I can't resurrect Haman or Raviel. How about? I'll have to go for the next best thing. I'll call upon Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon! Sent this away with Nino Bug Nest. Uh, I'll call off my attack and go to main phase 2. And during main phase 2, I equip Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon with an equip spell. Dark World Shackles. Oh, great. Now we Thanks weak to the AF. My shackles, your Odd Eyes Pendulum is attacking defense points are reduced to a measly 100, and it can no longer attack. And Shackles have another effect to burn damage. But furthermore, during each of my standby phases, the Shackles will lay a curse upon you, and you will take 500 points of damage. Jace has 650 life points left. 
so that's your last gasp. Unless I misremembered. Like a shame. Because I'm afraid you've already lost this duel. Not that you could do anything, especially not with a Mechlord Emperor on my side of the field. You should always remember one important rule of the game, Tobias. Don't count the opponent out until the last card is played. And last I checked, I still had some cards left. So first I activate the trap, Imperial Order. Oh boy. I believe Spiritual Swords While are still on up. My field, all spell effects on the field are negated. What? Why would you use Imperial Order now when you could have used it when I activated Dark World Shackles? Simple. I didn't want to pay the 700 Much life points. Different. I'm sending. Well, I wouldn't be able to pay the 700 order. life points. It would have been destroyed. Call the haunted. Which destroys odd eyes. Spiritual swords of revealing light. From He's going to be extra to because graveyard. pendulum. Now descend, Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. Time to die, bitches. Always my personal bear, but that's mostly because I have a fire fetish. Plus, it's easier to get. Uh, most of the fire fetish. No. I was gonna try giving no explanation, but it's just like, nah, Possible. just personal preference. Th this, this cannot be happening. It just did. Uriah's special ability, he gets a thousand attack points for every continuous trap card in the graveyard. I have seven, so Uriah's attack points become seven thousand. Not that it matters. It's more than enough to end this duel. And what about the and rest end of your life points? All right, Uriah, attack Mechlord Emperor Skeel and end this duel. Hyper Blaze. I won't knock twice for Adai still being on the field. Maybe I misremember something else. That's not about to matter. Remember, it's Tobias, you have Tobias. no one to blame but yourself. Like our tiebreaker. Two wins to one. <laughs> no, Chase, you are far incorrect. Or did you forget that we can't be defeated so easily? Ah, Freaking masquerade. First over a hundred number first. And last I checked, I did summon masquerade during the entire duel. No, no, I forgot about that. Keeping that in mind, I think it's payback time. Tobias is the only smart person in this entire this series because he's smart enough to not summon the stuff. monster first. You... He's gone. Fridgey be like, bitch, get the fuck out of here. Huh.